Louisiana has now activated its emergency operations center as the wildfire threat continues to grow. Yeah, Fox 4 Sydney Simone is live at the governor's office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness with more. Sydney, why do leaders say it's time to act? Good evening, Andrew, Christina. That's right. Well, in fact, for many parishes, this is the driest summer on record with over 350 wildfires in the month of August alone. That's according to the Louisiana Department of Ag. Some of those fires happening within the last 24 hours in north and southwest Louisiana. Now, about an hour ago, emergency officials here at GoCept addressed this crisis. Now, if you recall, Earlier this month, Governor John Bell Edwards issued a state of emergency due to the extreme heat and drought conditions. The Louisiana State Fire Marshal's Office and Louisiana Department of Ag also issued a statewide burn ban on August 7th. Now, during this time, private burning is only allowed if you're giving permission from the local to fire, part, fire department or government. Otherwise, nothing should be burned. They say sparks can travel over a mile. But we also need your help to spread the word about the burn ban and all of these prevention measures. Tell everyone you know, everywhere you go, your relatives, your neighbors, your friends, your fellow church members and coworkers. When burn bans are in place, violators can be fined up to $500 and spend up to six months in jail. That doesn't include restitution for loss of property. Now, Governor John Bell Edwards posted to Twitter saying this is an extremely urgent and serious situation and Louisiana needs your help. So he also shared some tips. One, you should not burn anything. They strongly emphasize that and they emphasize the proper disposal of cigarettes, meaning don't just throw them on the ground or out your window. Use a safe container make sure that fire is out. You should not use a lawnmower on any dry grass or weed and make sure that your vehicle is not dragging anything on the ground that can spark a flame. And officials say these dangerous uh, heat conditions will likely continue for a period of time and so will that burn ban. So they're emphasizing that even though you may not have a direct fire in your area, but to follow the orders as the burn ban remains in place. And again, anything as small as a cigarette bud can lead to a mass fire in the area. Reporting live right here at GoSep, Sydney Simone, Fox 44 News. All right, some very important information. Thank you so much, Sydney.